35-year-old Eric Rodriguez, a Mizzou mechanical engineering major and eight-tour veteran of the United States Marines, has found a unique passion that complements his military background. So I started playing wheelchair basketball back in uh, late 2012. To me, I guess it attracted me the, the challenge, you know, both mentally and, and physically, you know, and then it, it was that teamwork. Wheelchair basketball definitely is not a one-man sport. It's a team, team effort, and I mean, it's something that's installing you in the Marine Corps, you know, to work as a team, and that's what we're very successful in the United States Marines to accomplish the mission. And all of that's transferring uh, to wheelchair basketball for me. After recruiting him in 2012, Mizzou head wheelchair basketball coach Ron Likens attributes Eric's success at the game to his resilient approach to everyday life. With Eric, it's just he never gives up. You know, he, here's a kid who a uh, little bit behind in, in terms of academics before he came to Mizzou, went to community college and really worked hard to develop the skills that he was going to need to be successful here at Mizzou in the classroom. Uh, he still uh, works very, very hard in the classroom. There, he sets goals. He doesn't let anything get in his way. And that's nice to have a guy like that who is, again, it comes back to that dedication, responsibility to his teammates, all those sorts of things that he has. To, to just show that, you know what, nothing's going to stop him. Though wheelchair basketball plays a large role in Eric's life today, he endured great loss in his path to discovering the game. Right, on January 27, 2011, I was out on a mission, and uh, that's when I, uh, you know, I hit an IED. I was knocked out. When I came back, too, I kind of felt something was wrong. When I was able, when my uh, corpsman got to me, he stretched me out, and I was able to see that I was missing my right foot. My left leg was uh, pretty much detached from my body. It was next to my uh, left knee. My right hand was broken. Uh, my face was burning, so I knew I had shrapnel on my face. You know, I had a lot of things going through my mind. I was mad at the world, I was mad at God, I was mad at everything. But then I started thinking about my daughter, and that's when I made my mind up that, you know, nobody else is gonna be able to protect my daughter like I would. You know, there's a lot of wolves out there and I gotta take care of my sheep, so. You know, I made my mind up and stayed positive ever since. I went through multiple surgeries to save my left leg and uh, my right arm. Uh, from right there, uh, you know, I did my recovery. My rec therapist, uh, Marla Knox, she introduced me to wheelchair basketball. And then from there, I went to an elite camp at uh, University of Illinois, and uh, I, I fell in love with the game. You know, it was challenging both mentally and physically, and now I'm here. Eric's injuries may have sidelined him from serving in the military. However, it will not stop him from working to represent his country. So in January, I tried out for the first cut of uh, the USA uh, Paralympic wheelchair basketball men's team, and I made the top 16. Right now, we're off season, and I'm conditioning. I'm, I'm doing my part. I'm doing what I could control to give me the better opportunity to, uh, to make the top, top 12 and uh, represent the United States uh, down in Peru in August. This is Bradley Davis reporting for 23 Sports.